the one, the only, the inimitable Kimbo Slice. No denying the power, no denying the mass appeal when Kimbo Slice makes the walk and competes in a high-profile MMA fight. The mass is too much. Yes, they do tune in. Some of the biggest ice in UFC or any organization you've ever fought is attributed to Kimbo Slice. He has an ability to just draw people in from the internet to the octagon. Kimbo Slice is always one of the biggest stars. Now, a lot of it is because of his personality, but they didn't pull up those Kimbo Slice videos to see him dancing. They pulled it up to see him fight, and Kimbo Slice, at his heart, at his core, is a fight. No denying the power he has in both hands. He brings that to the table, and don't let the aesthetic fool you. Kimbo Slice might be the nicest guy on this roster. Official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. All right, round one of this stand-up only fight is underway. A foul of the rules set, not a whole lot of them, but you can't grapple or wrestle at all. And if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the ground. Big power shot there. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Going to the body now with that hook, well placed there by Slice. Right on the button. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Well, left hook found its target. And now that jab starting to get established. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Nice jab. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that up the Oh. Oh! All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. 
Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. And this is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Oh, with authority, the body. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice hook there by Swice. Oh, a huge block there. Kimbo Slice, his nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. That's a big hook. Under a minute now to go. Oh, nice jab up top by Kimbo Slice. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. So a strong five minutes down. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, back to the stools for 60 seconds. That gives us a chance to re-rack some replays, including what we believe is the strike that caused the cut on his nose. Yeah, beautiful strike that lands, causes this cut, opens him up on the bridge of the nose. It's not a bad cut, but if he continues to go forward, his opponent is a sniper, and he's going to keep hitting him in that same spot. Move your head. Really choose the times in which you're going to advance to try to get Ready. to this guy. You gotta be careful though, because he is so good at picking his shots. And of course, it's hard to know the extent to which that has compromised his breathing, but that corner was fired up. They want him to be more de defensively sound as this fight continues. Oh, big punch land. Oh, that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by Slice. an exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing his shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job. <laughs> Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. 
All right, so the celebration is on, not just here, but in Houston, Texas, and beyond for that man, Derek Lewis. And few heavyweights have been as active and as effective as the Black Beast, dating to his UFC debut back in 2014. So Derek Lewis continuing to pile up the UFC wins.